Hubert. Hi. How's it going? This will come out after November 2nd, so hopefully you went and voted. And regardless of what happened after this video came out or before this video came out, there's still a lot of things happening in the world that are bad. Doesn't matter who the president is. Just be kind to people. That's the moral of the story. We're all about kindness in the Boy Meets Beans world. All you can do is just love one another, drink some coffee, and just kind of, you know, just chill. Chill out. Calm down. That's, I think, the thing Timothy Leary said. Turn on, tune in, drop out. He was dropping acid. What are we dropping? Beans. I'm the boy, where are the beans? Here's the story behind this. One of the things that I want to start doing eventually is Boy Meets Road Beans, where I drink coffee out of gas stations. Because gas station coffee, there's a special relationship I have with it. I spent a lot of time commuting in school for work and such. I drank a lot of coffee very early in the morning from gas stations. Some of it is not very good, some of it's okay. So I want to do a taste test eventually of a lot of different gas stations. But the gas station that I don't have is 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven, correct me if I'm wrong, Fred? Yes. Does 7-Eleven exist in the state of Georgia anywhere? According to Google Maps, not sponsored, there is only one 7-Eleven in the state of Georgia. However, upon further inspection and the pictures provided, it looks like it is just an Exxon. It's very close to Tennessee, so who knows really? That's fascinating, Fred. I know I didn't thank you last time for giving me facts, so I'm really appreciative this time. I just need you to know that I respect you and I value you. I know, my guy. I was already angry about the costume mishap, and I let that take over my feelings. I'm sorry. But you can't leave the wall. So, 7-Eleven, can't really find it. However, if you watch my Instagram at Jacob Aldente or my TikTok at Jacob Aldente, I put on their Boy Meets Beans I'm from the road when I took a visit to Florida and I got to go in to a 7-Eleven. It was a great experience and I got to have some coffee there. What did I have from there? Cold brew. They had it on tap. It tasted like the lemonade that was on the tap next to the cold brew mixed with some dirty beans. But they also have other coffees, hot coffee, that I didn't try. But a visitor came to me and brought me this 7-Eleven coffee. See, a regular exclusive brand of coffee. What is this? How, first of all, to the person who, who brought this to me, was this at a 7-Eleven? Yes. Yes. It is authentic. It is an authentic 7-Eleven coffee. They sell this in the 7-Eleven. Yes. Okay. That is- It's not street coffee. It's not that dirty street beat. This is straight from the 7-Eleven tree. That's fascinating. I can't think of another gas station off the top of my head that sells its coffee in bags. Normally you just get it at the gas station, but this is so you can have the taste of a gas station anywhere you go. What's a gas station taste like? We don't know. We're gonna find out though, because there's no way I can't not drink this. Let's read about it a little bit. A regular exclusive blend. It's 100% Arabica. That's surprising. Roast meter, which is my favorite thing when they say what type of roast it is. It's got a little thing on here, kind of like the rainfall thing, where it's like a certain color is not roasted at all and the other one's burnt. This is somewhere in the medium variety. So that should be interesting. Already ground, of course it was. And how much was it? $5.99. $5.99 for a 12 ounce bag. Okay. Our story. For over 50 years, 7-Eleven has been known as the source of an excellent cup of coffee when you're on the go. <coughs> Hold on a second. Do we, I, I believe we need to call this into question really quick. Last time I checked, 7-Eleven was known for Slurpees. Yup. Now you can bring home that tradition of great tasting 7-Eleven coffee. 7-Eleven coffee is made from the finest, most aromatic, 100% Arabica coffee beans. Sauce from the world's premier growing regions and roasted to perfection for the finest flavor. Every bag of 7-Eleven coffee is of the utmost quality and we guarantee absolute freshness. Absolute Freshness. All right. Used by 121620. It's not like you can save this for like seven years, which is fine. This is the regular exclusive blend. It's our most popular coffee with over a billion cups sold. McDonald's can shove it. How many cups of McCafe you sold? McCafe you can buy in grocery stores. It's not a gas station though. You get a lot of gas from it though. Hey <laughs> Sorry, Hubert. Medium roasted for a bright, well-balanced taste with hints of vanilla and a crisp, clean finish. Okay. For the perfect cup of 7-Eleven coffee, a filter drip system is suggested. Now this is good because that means it's probably gonna be, you know, that standard universal grind size, so you shouldn't put this in an espresso maker. I like that they assume that there's something we can make coffee in other than an automatic drip coffee maker. I kind of value that. However, it's still already pre-ground, so I can't do anything else with it. Measure approximately two tablespoons of coffee for each 
six ounces of cold water. Amount of coffee can be varied to personal taste. My personal taste is not to have this anywhere. Serve freshly brewed coffee immediately. Don't let it sit like 7-Eleven coffee used to on a burner for like nine hours. That's gonna taste like butt. This is gonna taste less like butt and more like vanilla with a crisp clean finish. Coffee tends to lose flavor shortly after brewing. They actually, this is actually not necessarily true. Supposedly, if you are a, somebody who cups coffee, which is what you call somebody who tastes coffee professionally to like make sure it's of standards when you cup it, um, they actually say you're supposed to let the temperature drop a little bit because it gives you a little more of the aromatic sensations out of the coffee. So what this is probably saying, you need to drink it hot because it's gonna taste bad when it's not hot and we know that because it's gonna be bad. So you should drink it hot so you don't taste how bad it is. Maybe burn your tongue a little bit too. That will help it taste less bad and more like burnt tongue. You ever have burnt tongue? Do not boil or reheat coffee. Never, okay, who, yeah, sure, great, love that. Who's gonna do that? We're not making it in a percolator. That ain't gonna happen. We're making it in a filter system. Roasted and packaged in Canada. Distributed in the USA by 7-Eleven, Irving, Texas, blah, blah, blah. Satisfaction guaranteed. No, no, whoa, <laughs> We'll see about that. This ought to be fun. I've never had gas station coffee not in the gas station. That's actually why I'm so excited for this because typically you don't think about having coffee from a gas station as your go-to cup of coffee when you aren't at the gas station. It's like something you just get on the way to a location. I'm driving past the gas station, I need gas, it's early, I might as well have a cup of coffee while I'm here. I never go to a gas station and think, you know what I wish I could have more of an experience of at home? This gas station. So this says a lot about 7-Eleven that they think, hey, you know what? Our gas station is just of the best quality. We can start selling these beans and have people think about the 7-Eleven experience at home. That's very interesting. Also, what's interesting here is it looks like on the, on the label, I don't know if you can see this or not in frame, but we have the coffee supposedly here and there would look to be basil leaves behind the coffee. That's interesting. Interesting choice. Is there gonna be hints of basil with my vanilla? Who's to say? Let's find out. Let's get the brewing machine. Oh! Gross. <laughs> hey, 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 listen here. Uh, Frankenbean grounds are still in here. That's great. You know what, a little sneak peek, a little, a little behind the scenes. Let's just take a whiff of these old grounds and see how they smell for the camera, huh? Do it for the folks. Smells like an old Twinkie. Good, good. Let's take care of that. Let's give it a whiff. How easy is the bag to open 7-Eleven? Oh, it's actually very easy to open if you like that. They like a good bag. Weirdly, it smells like petrol. The true gas station experience. And definitely not vanilla. And it certainly doesn't smell clean. Let's put it in the coffee maker. Two. Three. All right, great. Okay. Let's make beans. I think we're done. Are we done? Ooh, it's still very wet up here. This is actually, it took a really long time compared to the other coffees. I don't know if it's the amount that we put in, but for some reason this felt like it was a longer brew time. I don't know what that's about. It's hard to kind of gauge what happened because everything's a little bit more inaccurate, you know, with measurements and that kind of thing. It certainly looks, oh God, it's not, it doesn't smell good. Ground coffee after it's been watered doesn't really smell good. It's also not the correct phrase. I'm not a professional. I do have a cup though. I got a to-go cup. Felt appropriate since we're drinking gas station coffee to have a to-go cup. All right, let's do this. One. It's off. It moved. May I? Can I? May I continue? So here we go. 7-Eleven coffee. It looks like coffee. Great. It's to be expected. We'll see how it tastes. Into the cup. Decent color. Looks a little under extracted. It really smells like nicotine. I can't get over it. it. Makes me uncomfortable. Why are Canadians smoking when they make the coffee? Is that what this is? What is this? It does smell like cigarettes, but also, what is that? It does have a, a weird vanilla, but it smells like vanilla pipe tobacco. I don't know if you ever had a relative that smokes a pipe. My dad used to smoke a pipe back in the day. And some of the pipe tobacco he'd get would be different flavors. And one of them I remember was vanilla. And this smells 
eerily similar to vanilla pipe tobacco. I can't explain why, but it does. So I will give you that, that there is a hint of vanilla, according to this thing. Hints of vanilla and a crisp, clean finish. I don't know if we're gonna have the crisp, clean finish since I do smell cigarettes, but vanilla you kind of have in a weird way. It's still very hot, so I don't want to taste it yet. Hubert! How you doing, Hubert? All right, cool. Let's drink it. 7-Eleven. Regular exclusive blend. Mm. No. 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 Not at all. This is what I've been missing. This is what I've been pining over when it comes to gas station experiences. This, this is what I'm getting out of you. Shame on you, 7-Eleven. Okay, I don't know how to explain this. It is still literally like chewing a cigar, is the only way I could think of. It just, it's got that like planty. Earthy. It is earthy, but like earthy can be good. Earthy is an okay thing. You get that, what is that, that umami. That's a thing, right? Earthiness isn't a bad thing. The problem is, is that we had this with the chicory coffee a long time ago. There's a difference between tasting earthy and tasting like dirt, just licking the topsoil. This tastes, yeah. It's not good. It's not sweet. I don't taste the vanilla that I was promised. I got it in the scent, but you don't get it in the taste. It's not even good gas station coffee. That's the problem. The fact that I'm drinking this at home bothers me. This is not something meant to be drunk at home. It's meant to be drunk in a styrofoam cup that's bad for the environment, in your car, it's also bad for the environment, going to your job that you probably hate. That's okay, because you have a cup of coffee and that's gonna get you through it because you can't buy liquor before noon. That's the time you have this kind of coffee. You don't drink this kind of coffee in your house. It's not meant for that because the experience is different. It brought, God, it smells really bad. It brought the gas station home, but like not in any good way. This is not like when you go to a restaurant and they have like a coffee that they have at the restaurant. It's like, oh, you can have this coffee. A lot of places do that if they have a specialty coffee that's roasting for them. I can think of uh, the Mama's Boy. Mama's Boy is a great breakfast restaurant. They have coffee that they roast specifically for the restaurant that they sell in bags. That's the thing you want to bring home with you because you can't get that anywhere else, especially during these times with a capital T uh, when you can't go outside, sit somewhere. You know where you can still go? Gas stations. Oh my God. It's unpleasant. It's an unpleasant experience. Just like, I guess, a gas station is supposed to be. I don't know. I still don't know why this is something that you want outside of a gas station because it tastes like a gas station, which is fine if you're at a gas station, but you're not. You're at your home. Or hopefully you're at home. Are you watching this at home? Are you on your sofa? On your sofa? Maybe in the sofa. I don't know how your sofas work. Are you having coffee while you're drinking this? Hopefully it's not this fine. I hate, I don't like that. This is a very bad thing that I've been given, but that's okay. We try everything once. What I'm interested in now is seeing where we go from here with gas station beans. Now I need to know, do other gas stations sell coffee in bags? Should I do a coffee, a gas station coffee taste test? Maybe this is the best that we can get from gas stations selling beans like this. I was really worried that that exploded on the ground. It did not, I don't have to clean it up, thank goodness. This is a disappointing, <laughs> this is a disappointing time for me. I was so excited for 7-Eleven. I was like, where was my 7-Eleven in Georgia? And now I'm like, well, what have I been missing this entire time? Certainly not that, certainly not that, but that's okay. We live and we learn. Would you like me to try some other gas station coffees? Are there any available in bags that I can get in other places? Quick trip, racetrack, another local gas station chain. Let me know in the comments down below how this went for you. I'm telling you, this mood is different now after I've had this coffee. <sighs> I'm just so unsatisfied, you know? I wasn't expecting this to be amazing, right? But I was expecting it to be something else. Thank you so much for watching this. Um, if you'd like me to try some other gas station coffees, let me know which gas station in the comments down below. If I can drive to it, I'll drink it. It's a good little motto for this series, Boy Meets Road Beans. If I drive it, I can drink it. Subscribe if you want to watch more of this randomness that happens here. Thank you for sticking with me through the Halloween special. That was kind of a mess, but I had fun. And ultimately, I'm doing this because I have fun. And if you don't like my version of fun, you can go watch something else. There's tons of people out there on YouTube. I'm not going to put any in the description. Watch me. Share with your friends. You got bean friends? Send them over to me. I'll give them the what for. Enjoy your day. Next week, I'll have something else to drink. I don't know what it is yet, though. It's part of the fun. It won't be this, though. It will not be this.